beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Are we together? The laws of the kingdom. Let me show you three important principles we have been violating in our lives that have brought upon us self-inflicted tragedies. I teach these things because I love every one of us and it's a challenge to be wiser, to be better, to rise more. Number one, the first principle that I believe many in the body of Christ have ignored. That's why we never become successful. That's why we never taste of the greatness that the word of God says is us. Is that we lack determination and persistence. Please write it down. You hear me hammer on this all the time. We lack the determination and the persistence to succeed. Life will never hand you the keys of greatness when you pursue life in a play it safe easy and i don't want to be hot attitude no you've got to be determined you've got to be persistent everybody say determination say it one more time say persistence we lack persistence we lack determination how many people have not gotten jobs today they think it's the devil Ask them how many CVs they have submitted. And they tell you, I submitted three. Can you imagine? The person even looked at me and said, I graduated with a third class. He lambasted me and I said, I will embarrass myself again. It is that kind of attitude that will keep a man poor forever. Are we together now? Yeah. We are so egocentric that we are unwilling to pay the price of determination. How many pastors want crowd? They want a great church, but there's no determination to succeed. Determination is what fuels diligence. Determination is what fuels hard work. You must be determined. Let me tell you what determination is. It is the attitude and the resolve to succeed that is greater than the pain and the challenges you will meet on the way. Whoever possesses that quality must succeed. Greater than the pain. Greater than the embarrassment. Greater than the ridicule. Greater than the mockery. Greater than the misunderstandings. You sustain a paradigm. I was born from this family. We never had opportunity for a nice meal. We ate once a day. We struggled for instance. And you make a determination. That in the name of the Lord. What my parents could not give me. I will give them. I make a determination. Are we together? How many people, young people, you ask them, did you write jam? They say no. You say why? They say there's nobody to buy jam for. But that person has a phone. 
Are we together? A phone of 40,000. It took determination to get that phone. Are we together? That person you are seeing has not gone to school, but he can operate an Android device. It took passion. It was the passion that made him to go and look at another person's phone, although he did not have it. Are we together? Many, there are many of our young children, they take last in class and they can play computer game with their eyes closed. It took determination to become a master. Are we together? Listen, we need to redirect our focus and get serious about success. Success is not for weak people. Success is not for lazy people. Success is not for fearful people. Success is not for those who chicken out in life. Right? The man who will be successful is the one who can get up. When you fall, while people are laughing, just keep cleaning your body. When you succeed, they will eat back their words. I guarantee you. Determination. So many people want to succeed. We think God is a magician. That's why we love prophets. And many of you pressure men of God around. Oh, prophesy to me. Speak to me. Have you not heard what Timothy... Um, well, the, the encouragement that Paul told his son in the gospel Timothy he says this charge I give unto you Timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy I have given you a prophetic word right war with it no determination no determination at all are you determined to succeed the answer is not yes the answer can be seen listen the proof of passion is pursuit. What are you pursuing? What occupies your time? What keeps you awake in the night when others are snoring away their destiny? When young people are sleeping as if they are 60 years old. Your mother at 65 is sleeping. You to a child of 20, you are lying down by her side. Two of you are sleeping, same time, waking up, same time. I tell you, you will lick the feet of destiny if you don't rise up and take your destiny seriously. We violate this law. I told you to be sensitive because for some of us, this is your prophetic word already. God is telling you it's time to jack up. See, the most, the greatest failure in life is not the one who tries and fails. It's the one who is less than fair about everything. I don't like those kinds of people. They, I will never be friends to less than fair people. People who are lukewarm in everything. A little of God, a little of women, a little of beer. A little of 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 uh, um, what now laziness a little of sleep a little of hard work those kinds of people are dangerous because they they don't there is nowhere they stand being friends with them would destroy you a little of loyalty a little of betrayal it's better to know they are for you or not for you a little of everything if you have those kinds of friends let me tell you the truth break away from them I repeat break away from them don't keep all this loyalty we grew up together we went to the same school so what when it was time for abraham to go and offer isaac he left his loved ones his relatives there are times you need to even leave your family members because sometimes they love you too much to allow you succeed are we together they love you too much Every time you want to take giant steps, they say, I'll play it safe. Oh, you know the way this our life is. No. No. And please let me challenge us, especially for our loved ones and our parents here. I believe in responsibility, but no parent should over pamper their child. No parent. My children will be born in a rich family, but they are going to wash their clothes. I guarantee you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they will wash their clothes. Whether they use washing machine or their hand, they will do it. They will learn it. They will learn how to cook. All this lawlessness and indiscipline that we call opportunity. No, it's not opportunity. Determination. Many people think they are not succeeding because there's nobody to help them. But it's not true. The person gets up and goes to steal. When you catch him and you say, why did you steal? He said, oh, why wouldn't I steal? My father sleeps around. My mother is dead. And that person seems to justify his situation. Did you try going to ask somebody to give you a cutlass? 
to weed their house and you receive 500 naira for it see we we don't have persistence i'm telling you this we lack determination is god speaking to us determination so we are lukewarm and we are cold we want things to happen to us automatically it doesn't work that way you've got to work it out how many preachers want to know the word but they don't want they don't have the determination to learn you never see them study you never see them do anything they don't get up and tell you my ministry by the grace of god will work see nothing in your life will work till you commit yourself to making it work how many marriages want to work automatically how many relationships want to work automatically there's no such thing as that there must be a labor on your own part to enter your rest number two the second principle we violate consistently to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding please write it down the second mistake that we keep making as believers to our detriment is that we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing let me tell you what we pursue we pursue the children of wisdom we pursue what wisdom can produce money fame glory greatness those are children of wisdom are we together now it's like a man who wants a child but does not want a wife it is the presence of a woman and her ability to take in right that will produce a child so you want a child yet you do not want the responsibility of getting married it doesn't work that way everybody say wisdom everybody say understanding i have learned in my life by the word of God and experientially the excellency of wisdom and understanding for many of us what you need is simply a key a certain understanding wisdom and understanding to take you from where you are to the next level the Bible says through wisdom a house is built he said by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing wisdom i remember years ago i used to fall into a particular trap of foolishness again and again it had to do with relating with people and it was one wisdom key from mike modok i was anointed i loved god but there was so much foolishness in that area and life kept punishing me one wisdom key from mike mudok that set me free and this is what he said never try to be god to anybody that wisdom was my deliverance never try to do to people what only god can do to them that one key alone set me free and there are many more of these keys we do not passionately pursue wisdom let me tell you something many of us sit down and we want wisdom to come and meet us no you pursue do you know the bible gives wisdom the attribute of a woman it's only a foolish man who will cross his leg and allow a lady to come and meet him and say marry me say hey, i've been waiting for you are we together now only a foolish person would do that wisdom everyone say wisdom everyone say understanding i can see your passion for wisdom by how many successful people you are willing to sit down at their feet to learn listen listen let me tell you i am amazed at how many great people pass us and listen i want to challenge us right now we travel for ministrations all the time whenever we get to where where they are checking us the hotels where they are checking us the people in the hotel 
some of them are cleaners some of them are maybe those who are just waiters or whatever it is they watch men of god business executives sometimes political figures come and wait at the reception for instance to see me for hours yet they are the same people that have access to clean the room are you seeing lack of wisdom and it never occurs to them what is in this man that is making these people who are already great to a measure come and wait is that not an opportunity to use the use the opportunity of scrubbing a toilet and just kneel down and say man of god i don't know you will do something to me how many people pa listen how many people do you pass every day who have the keys to your miracle but because you have no passion for wisdom you trivialize their presence let me ask you three questions that will surprise you how many people undergraduates or people who are yet to get admission have ever gone to meet a first class student and buy wine and sit down and tell him sir do you have something you can teach me that will accelerate my success how many of us here we have access to our daddy here prof right there are all kinds of people how many of you have ever said sir could you give me an appointment at your schedule i just want you to teach me about life you have been able to raise your children and you are successful we don't want wisdom that's the truth are we together that's the truth anytime i want to succeed in an area my first assignment is to find out those who are excelling in that area at its best and i will pay any price within the boundaries of righteousness to follow them i have pursued uncommon mentors they stung my ego but i still pursued because i know what i'm looking for many of us are too arrogant to be wise we are too arrogant to have understanding we do not submit to the laws of life and it punishes us i had the privilege of sitting down with a great man one time man of god and i was asking him questions i was throwing questions at him and he looked at me and he said you are very wise i was asking him questions and when he got access to koinonia page and he saw what god was doing he said ah it's not like you are struggling in ministry and i said no anybody greater than you knows something you do not know if you will humble yourself and pursue it will make your life easy let me tell you still related to the second point we we don't ask questions that's why our lives are hard we we work with too much assumptions we don't ask questions when you see somebody who is rich truly rich you don't pay the price to ask him what are the secrets what are you doing we are living in the same world when you see somebody who is anointed you never pay the price to say how, how are you doing it a brother is looking for a wife there is another brother with 10 ladies wanting to marry him and that one is angry instead of humbling himself to say i asked five ladies out i even had a dream about two they all said no my brother is there something you are doing and he tells you ah this is one secret about ladies they always want an environment of joy and peace your environment is very choking very serious make that adjustment wisdom is god speaking to us we live lives on assumption assumption is the least level of knowledge you can't afford to assume on your destiny ask questions i ask questions about ministry i ask questions about greatness i ask questions about different areas of life when last did you ask a successful see don't ask somebody who is struggling just like you love them but they are not the kind of people who pro you see let me tell you why many of us fail when things are not going well you meet your colleague that two of you are struggling together and you say what's your idea about this they say thank you for asking me and i think it is a and b and c learn from everybody but pursue successful people learn from everybody 
even the ant has something to teach you so learn from everybody but don't sit down and mentor failures you will be like them i never pursue average people i never pursue weak people i never pursue people with results i pursue people who know how to reproduce the results show me a man that knows nothing but has the humility to seek wisdom that's why i love my bible my bible for me is god's treasure of wisdom mike modok can you take it down he sings a beautiful song one of his best songs he says your favor is like sunrise wiping all my nights away i found the cure to my foolishness i can't trust my life outside this world there's too much foolishness that culture has given me there's too much foolishness that growing up as a young man has put in me i need something to edit my life to wisdom and this is what i found that's why for me the word of god is a matter of life and death it is your cure for a foolish life lift your bible and say the word of god is the answer to a foolish life say the word of god is my cure for a foolish life see don't be embarrassed by what i just told you and don't feel insulted in every one of us by default there is foolishness it will not remove itself like that it takes the word of god the more i read the word of god the more i see how foolish i am outside of the word of god i've seen things listen there are times a few people who who have access to my private life see sometimes i'm studying the bible and you can see me i can just stop and tears are just running out of my eyes because i found the answer to the cure for a foolishness in my life if you are embarrassed that there are foolish things you are doing you will never rise i love sitting at your feet that's his song I love hearing what you say. I love knowing your desires. I'm so pleasure to obey. Your favor is like sunrise. Driving all my nights away i love sitting at your feet every single day i love sitting at your feet every single day whose life are you unembarrassed to pursue and learn from if there is nobody before you no successful person you are pursuing passionately to learn wisdom i guarantee you life will punish you again and again i don't want to be poor in my life i hate poverty and so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth. I still am learning. I've studied the wealthiest people on earth. Literally, all the billionaires, one by one, I've studied their lives. I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible. Abraham, Isaac. I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiume people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life i pay the price to seek knowledge i've studied the largest churches in every continent i know them i can tell you without thinking i've studied the lives of the pastors what brought the crowds to them i've studied the lives of very anointed people right from the generals to great men like benny he what was their secret 
the reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people the bible says in isaiah 51 it says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that body he said for i called him alone and i blessed him and i increased him look unto him meaning understudy his life please sh cut short your journey to success by following wisdom pursue it wisdom leaves trails behind if you are interested you will find it don't try to discover a road that has been found ask for the ancient parts don't labor trying to discover it it's been found there's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten so that's the second law we violate we do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding there are times i can lock myself up for two days three days and all i'm watching is videos upon videos videos of men of god sometimes i can play worship songs or play the videos of men of god and while it is playing i will just be praying in tongues all through i have in my phone videos i partition my phone into different compartments worship songs teachings that bless me are not possible say in the name of jesus i make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding brothers and sisters look at me i don't care what is not working in your life right now i don't care what the ridicule is you can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom you prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom you prolong your tragedy ah the moment you find wisdom begin to rejoice even if you are in the fire because you are coming out for sure for sure number three the third principle we keep violating to our detriment is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us, and for many of us who have been coming for Koinonia and have had access to the teachings, the truth is many of us, there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws, especially in certain areas but we do not live by the truth we know you see knowledge is not power consistently applied knowledge is what is power the truth you know that you do not live by notice i did not say practice let me tell you another mistake we make many of us try to practice we don't live by you see when you try to practice a thing it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling when your conviction about a thing is certain you don't practice you live by it those who practice principles are conscious of the results those who live by principles know it must produce they have moved past just results ah but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel, listen, Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice they are looking at the other end of it for results and the moment they don't find result once twice those who are trying to practice prayer they pray for one week and then they quickly watch the result and they say this thing is not working then they gas out they try to look for something else but there are those who live by prayers those who practice trying to study the word those who try to practice staying in god's presence listen don't try to practice these principles live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truth we know 
inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place in action closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step the one who wrote jam five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jam are we together the one who tried to look for 10 jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents government used to give people jobs step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort i know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student I think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with it and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said, sir please give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if i do not convince you that i know what i'm doing i will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy 10 minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people, for instance, who live very close to CJC here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down? It's just a two minutes walk. Am I right? Just a two minutes walk. When they see people gather, they'll sit down outside and be talking. When I step out, they say, that's him. And then all the stories that follow. Are we together? disobedience you must live by conviction so i've identified three things let's review it quickly number one is lack of determination see if you want to be anointed you will be anointed the reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently you are pursuing the anointing as if um have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah he doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorces it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why I'm hardly committed in many things. Because I have a contagious level of commitment. I'm not committed in many things in my life. But when I commit to things, I stay there. I stay there. I'm committed to the assignment that God has given me. Even if I come for koinonia and I find only two people, I will feel bad. I will go for a retreat and ask what happened. But it will never make me just get up and say, Talk, Lord, that's it. Um, let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims. Uh, what do you call it? A trip to Jerusalem to just go there and be like many Nigerians that never come back, just dodge and run away. Or let me go and look for a green card and relocate to America. No. Kai, you must have the spirit of a fighter. Many of us don't know how to fight. We are too weak to succeed. You must have the audacity of winners. Is God speaking to us tonight? Please! You are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. 
you want to build a house you have only five naira you will sit down there and die not building that house if you really want to you will build it say after me i have the spirit of a winner say it say i have a determination of a winner say in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed say it again in the name of jesus i will weary failure until i succeed i remember one of our great ones mazi prosper is his wedding in i think a week or two from now and he returned from the states and came to my place and he was thanking me we were talking i met mazi prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy the truth is he wasn't very funny when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so i said kai this guy but i encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say ah, what happened somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue i told him keep on keep improving yourself see let me tell you brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they will say i laughed at him even me i thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that tears go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew he would be successful oh brothers and sisters is great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet i tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited If you think it's costly to be successful, let's consider the alternative. Are you ready to consider the alternative? Failure all the way. Pain all the way. Broken down and spread through your lifetime. It's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life. And in my old age, I find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling. Be determined. Go for knowledge. Unembarrassingly go for knowledge. See, seeking wisdom will sting your ego. Settle it before the time. Someone came today and met me with a proposal. The first time he sent me a text for the proposal, I didn't even reply him. I just left him. Not intentionally, really. Probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying. And then he sent it again. And then he sent it again. We returned back from a trip yesterday. He sent another text for me. And then I was talking to a few people this morning. And then he called me. And I said, this guy is serious. I told him, come. When he came, I wasn't concerned about the proposal. I collected it. Look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and i dropped it and i said you are a smart person let me add value to you and i told him sit down i began to share with him a few things i've learned and he was amazed i gave him a few videos i said this will help you i would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this. Learn it. Never try to help people who are not prepared for it. They will not appreciate it. If you are not thirsty and I bring water, you can carry it and stone it back at me. 
Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truth. Live by the truth, please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. I'm being sincere with us. Is that all right? So that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back. We are not living by the word. God is my witness. Ask those who are close to me. Everything God blesses me with before I think of anything, the tight. God's portion is out. I don't practice it. I live by it. It's a law. There's no man who jumps up and continues going up. You must come down. It's a law. Are we together now? Why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence? Why fight the laws of God? Why not come into alignment? I have learned the excellency. I found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty. Align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom. True freedom. They know not, the Bible says. Neither will they understand. It says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course. Wisdom. It is wisdom that brought many of us here. Are we together? Listen. When Saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing Saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see I have tried this situation I don't know whether it's demonic or it's my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where I can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of God let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of God to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for. He trivialized their problem. Look at Naaman. His breakthrough was only seven baths away. Yet, he lived his lifetime suffering. I have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult. It is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard. But the day you find a place of breakthrough, brothers and sisters, in 24 hours, your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen, all that Samuel told them was, is it not the donkey? It's been found, please. There are more important issues. Can you imagine? To them, that was the big deal. Let's look for our father's donkey. But Samuel said, leave the issue of donkey. I speak, oh yeah, it's been found. Look at Naaman. When Naaman went to go and meet Elisha, what did he say? To go and bath. He didn't even come out. Just go and take your bath seven times. Ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it. Brothers and sisters, tonight, many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades. But it is for you to recognize. Your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere. Now step back and allow God to step in. You see that? Your own part. 
there are few prophets that I've met in my life. True prophets. One day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? Ah. And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we are discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent to oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came for how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help. That's the last thing I would require from you. If you can accept before God and say, Lord, I've tried everything I know to do. I know that this thing is not as hard as it is, but I submit myself to your wisdom. You have changed the lives of people within 24 hours. You have brought restoration and healing and hope for people. Brothers and sisters, that sickness can leave. That it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay. You can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say, well, nice preaching. Your problem only affects you. I hope you know. But you can tremble at his word and say, this is the key. One prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say lord you spoke to me that i'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of God before we begin to pray Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboy looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said, no. He looked at him, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. 
he said the guy was angry because he said now i'll have to work for myself no excuse again take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah Your voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah hallelujah second prayer point lord i know it is within your power to help me i ask for your help let your power address my case tonight lift your voice and pray lord i know oh it is within your power to give me a husband it is within your power to give me a wife it is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace i just showed you your contribution to your failure you must take responsibility and say lord i take responsibility and i receive grace to make the adjustments there's nothing embarrassing about it from all that i've said you know the area that affects you say lord i take responsibility the part you cannot do for yourself you will do but the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, 
Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. You're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself. Are you ready now? Please, I want you to speak it. These are instructions from God. I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance I have seen this all my life but I have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? 
who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power lord i know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers So in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah. 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 It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes. The Lord is going to set you on fire. Yes. Take you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be <laughs> You will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria, Victoria, I hear a name Victoria, please who is Victoria, let me just respond, Victoria, Victoria, there is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype, genotype, 
you're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, SSAS, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability. In the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? No. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. What's his name? Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying, but as the days unfold, you will see God honor you. Father, let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the 
the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. Is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart i challenge every spirit i challenge every voice and every altar oh god that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight lord i pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of god will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of jesus lift your hands now i pray every family here under any spell every family lord where are they right now let the power of god touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring deliverance. Help that lady. I bring deliverance. Right now. Right now. Keep your hands lifted. Right now. 
Father, identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one, two, three. Shikatetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit lead this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, it's getting who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you sir. i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there sir. is the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of jesus god is already giving you a miracle by the power of the holy spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman him eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of jesus christ this perfection he has started that back ache i lay my hands and i release the anointing in the name of jesus christ just keep under the anointing she'll stand up and check herself hallelujah i'm seeing another mother i don't know why god is visiting our mothers right now i'm seeing mama please come can i talk to you ma somebody help that woman. please 
don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got bp i got bp this as I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. That devil will leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You, what's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now high blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness i rebuke it right now and i command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands i want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. But you can walk, it's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to listen listen we are going to pray we we'll invite people to come out now well, I'm going to pray for the sick I'll lay hands on all of you praise the Lord so that we can just hurry up if we do it one by one like this we may not have all the time um, but why why is she uh, my problem is one year I'm eating with the dream you are eating the dream yes. food you mean one year now for one year non-stop Today is 15 days. My stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I entered hospital. They gave me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no. Our mothers don't worry when we start praying for the sick this is what we'll do we may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back they may not have that strength will that be fine so as you line up if you see any elderly man or woman you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down hallelujah praise the lord but lift your hands now i want to release breakthrough i mean i, I mentioned the case right now I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. 
keep your hands lifted that has tied down your business all the works of your hands some of you will feel fire on your hand literal fire it will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord now as we pray for the sick i know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please Help our mother with this handkerchief, please. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father peace in who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you the other source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary 
her mother. This is her mother crying. Who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have, been not, they have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We, we will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she should speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. And Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Kinzo oh, Kina. Can I also? So say, Kede Nani. Kasuna. Kede Kasuna, she never hear also. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I see? How old is she? You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, hey, my confidence. Source of my life, strength of my life, my hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. 
Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me. But it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm, I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where the bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. And, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, and now fall down. I, know, I cannot get out. They carry me to hospital. Oh, the bomb hospital. blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So, it affected you. Eh, so I can't get up. They can't go home. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They can't go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they, go. Got, they carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say oh. hospital no feed you. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen. Let me let me press it down any man i don't care who who tells you to bring money to get a miracle even if it's me run away are you hearing what i'm saying mama our mothers i'm begging you in the name of jesus christ any man any priest any prophet any pastor any apostle any human being herbalist whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle tell him joshua selman said he's a thief he's not a man of god are we together start the cure the thing the if you give me medicine i drink i will bring bad bad dream in the night so tell like that four months go and no go the man not time to bring thirty thousand again i said i know even see food that should bring thirty thousand again uh, i know see food to to my children again now and i'll start the bed the man no grief that mommy i'm a girl for it's how my room before we mommy for what what now i come sabo i come some my room here Come and say, come and I work up for prayer to prayer. But at the near prayer for you, where they say, Make I come, make I know they and I know they come. I'll just lie down, they feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia on your way going? They just change their mind. It's not them, there is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone. It's a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 exactly? This people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Call bless our feet. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come the advice me to make no hurry to enter. So and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my now this hand they just stand for all this side. And now softly stand up. Uh. Stand. God come give me a condition. Strength. My power. What my what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I also. Oh your Oh I see. Father, it's, it's okay, madam. Ma mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name we pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast but oh she could not walk oh they had to carry her and now she's even standing that's even a miracle in the name of jesus madam look at me hold my hands i minister strength to you look at me come come help her Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. 
you can see that it's happening gradually gradually these hands were paralyzed madam look at me try to lift it up go ahead go ahead lift it lift it lift it look at this lift it lift it drop it down lift it again lift it again completely paralyzed completely paralyzed look at look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening do what you couldn't do the devil is a liar the more you take that step of faith the more you see God stepping in father this miracle is perfected in our body in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you just keep exercising her we we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone I saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ the moment I pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what leaks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying 
one month two weeks a hole in his heart if god does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen i tell you we are the church of the lord jesus christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you Baby, you will not die. You will not die. You will not die. We close this hole. Hallelujah. Go and check him. Don't cry. Don't cry. Eh? You are not going to lose your baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray. It's going to be very, very fast. As I lay my hands on you, just it's just a touch. There is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you. Just a touch. The Lord is wiping your tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. And not just because you are crying physically. This woman is coming with so much pains. The Lord is wiping your tears. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of her, that demon that causes pain. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Submit a prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you. First John chapter 5 verse 4 the Bible clearly tells us that our victory the quality of our lives the exploits that we will do please listen this has nothing to do with ministry being a man of God or a woman of God this is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life first John first John 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell even our faith that's if you and I are to be victorious in this kingdom we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trousers that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh, why did they cut this trouser into two why is your leg in one hole and another no 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 no. it's not strange are we together that's how faith should be you should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith that statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith Are we together? 
this is the victory my victory as a person our victory as a ministry your victory as an individual as a father as a husband as a leader is not just dependent on intellect please i want you to believe this believe this this is not some word of faith doctrine this is the basis of a victorious life on earth even our faith there are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action i want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith are we together let's look at an interesting scripture i want us to examine a figure romans chapter 4 we're going to look at abraham let's take a case study at the life of abraham from verse 18 romans chapter 4 from verse 18 paul was speaking about the man abraham and he represented a portrait of a man of faith the bible already told us to look up to abraham so we are looking up to him now there are certain things verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith very powerful scripture very very rich ready it says speaking about abraham now listen who against hope you can stop here you can stop here alone and just discuss that meaning it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture is the presence of impossible situations are we together now listen listen let me tell you something never allow obstacles scare you i think this is a revelation you should write never allow obstacles every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form i don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child Are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with hiv who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed kabbalah i like abraham they did say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and say ah if i knew there was trouble i wouldn't have believed he said after being aware of the circumstance he still believed who against hope believed who against that report believed are, are we following who against that report madam you will never have a child we have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants now please let me tell you something it is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant the journey through believing god looks ugly stupid and childish until the results vindicate you make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing the bible says there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds when you hear the testimonies of people we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle but the manufacture process of that miracle it took audacity and seriousness 
who against hope listen if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time you better get used to obstacles prophesy to your neighbor and say get used to challenges I didn't say call them they are there there are giants on every mountain if you don't find a giant you are in the valley I guarantee you are we together only God knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime we have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as the shining light shining brighter and brighter who against hope believed are you learning something you know listen 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 when i hear many people talk and they say apostle i don't know what i'm going through i'm even confused then i tell them what did you expect to believe when there is no challenge it is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles that is even when your faith comes alive please i want you to the point of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations if you are going to be a leader here let me tell you there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles you better learn the system to keep you under their feet you see as you grow in the knowledge of god do you know what makes a man called a father of faith he eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs and while they are now announcing and say ah, do you know if you don't produce one billion tomorrow they are going to lock the church he goes to bed the obstacle knows that he's going to give way there is a way you go to hell there is nowhere to run to again and you look at the challenge and you say i'm coming out and it must respect your voice let me tell you one way god makes us overcomers can i tell you it's not very interesting god puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them this for somebody i'm telling you i'm enjoying what i'm saying you can't believe it so he puts you face to face he does not put you to mock you he puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit man hallelujah the presence of obstacles let's follow the dynamics believe so the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle the second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly the man chose to believe God spoke to him and this was a prophecy so shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars and Abraham believed believed when Sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted God faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of Abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of Abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing god and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system 
that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is, is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation 
the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now i think it was papa deboye that shared a story of somebody who i think he was crippled or so i can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because i mean he got a lot of uh, uh generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were walking no more free lunch and he said he told papa Debo, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says what is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing oh apostle you don't know is is 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please I don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake 
sometimes in a bit to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and you say there, there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood i can't call it water i will be lying that's stupidity that's not faith this is blood i am i am shrinking it's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment i begin to study through the stories then i hear while the evening was come they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed now the holy spirit locks in there with you to hear and to be healed that means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles there is something you must hear to faith you act on that word a word that is spoken the hearing of faith you see now the word of God is growing in my spirit the Holy Ghost is infusing something in me the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles you are into that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of god comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of jesus christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but i didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding defines your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of god appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself you have a part to play you are God. that's why we call the meeting koinonia it's a sharing together it's a participation if you understand this key you will know that you are to sit down and wait for god blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever are you getting what i'm saying now we're examining the dynamics of faith so understanding now i have come to a point let me use finances now this gentleman was born from a background for instance poverty causes yokes suffering you know all kinds of things this person gets tired of his situation and prays and fasts and say lord change my life now let me tell you what that fasting will do that fasting will enable the holy spirit lead him to a tape lead him to a book or lead him to the word because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the lord told me to give you twenty thousand. that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so go encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you will die if it doesn't show up so twenty thousand is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now I, there is a role God has to play. This is God here. I 
is eternally settled don't confuse this so i now begin to search from the word of god there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that scripture attacks my greed and i come to terms with the fact that i'm a greedy person i've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily walking by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right it says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and often he fallen into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why we did not get results verse 20 i want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he's giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a monster seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed is like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil 
meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains Is God helping us tonight? So revelation, understanding, produces conviction. Now, the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief, pistis. Belief, belief, conviction, persuasion. Are we together? Belief is not the same thing as faith. Belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you have believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself i believe god will prosper the business i have studied the word of god i understand the dynamics i have sown a seed i have studied i have gotten mentorship now you have believed the next thing is to take action this is where the action part that we call faith comes in are you seeing now most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything number one an encounter with the word produces revelation leads to understanding understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome then you are convicted we call it persuasion you are now persuaded beyond the obstacle so i know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of God the correct protocol for confessing the word of God is first with the heart man believes then with the mouth confession is made are we together the Bible calls it the operation in fact this is what the Bible calls the spirit of faith second Corinthians 4 13 give it to us please second Corinthians 4 13 second Corinthians 4 13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the Bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking 
speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving a piece of a seed of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions. Is God helping us? The end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit God. Now listen, God, write this down. God is only committed when your obedience is perfected. God is only committed when your obedience, please, I want you to understand this god is a loving god he's a gracious god but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the bible says that he exalts his word even above his name god only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete the bible tells us in habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have two hundred thousand you are looking for two million and the holy ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith faith is spelled r-i-s-k play it safe you will lose out in life you must be audacious not stupid audacious that's why your faith must rest upon something god said this i take him by his word if i perish i perish but i count him faithful are we together it had never happened but noah i will do it see training yourself to hear god is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life write it down growing to a point spiritually when you learn how to hear god is 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 a treasure you will you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life because the problem for many people is whether it is really god the problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly they could not doubt that it was not god they said that which we have seen 
that which we have heard that which we have handled right and satan has done something to our generation satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception there is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what god is saying he has corrupted every avenue every biblical avenue to hear god because satan knows that faith comes by hearing so he focused on corrupting dreams corrupting visions are we together so now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but satan has now confused it you saw 20 faces you don't even know there's you, you are not you are even afraid of the dream we've had people who were praying and landed in shika there have been cases like that people praying in tongues you see how satan wants to corrupt everything let me tell you something satan fears that men hear god because he knows that when men hear god they can take action and if it is god he will commit himself so satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible so because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of god it's tied to the clear of what you know what god is saying if someone walks up to me now and says apostle do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of god you are out of the will of god and you have been walking in disobedience you are about to die now i'm not going to go back and say god please help me is it that i didn't hear you the encounters that lead to this was so certain brothers and sisters never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction but i know god sent me do you know why many people chicken out the voice of god is not clear don't marry when you have not had the voice of God. Don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of God. You thought you had seven. Now when the going gets tough, you hear three. It's not clear. See, I'm saying this. Let me show us where. Because you see, in, I told us last week. I hope you know during the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. So their faith was entirely dependent on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them, go to the lost sheep of Israel. The kingdom has come heal the sick cast out them when he was speaking faith was planted they believed him did they believe him they were persuaded now he did not go with them so you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of jesus they went he sent them just like he's sending his word so his word went with them jesus must appear before you obey his word is him in your life he said go now don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it say, is their bone in this i say yes heal the sick as you go i tell you this happens to me all the time we returned from yola it was a mighty from from mubi it was such such a mighty mighty crusade i mean there were all kinds of miracles 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 it was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say hey, jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together God will never give you any guarantee outside of his word. Looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief. He will send you with his word. Watch this. I have money here. I like using money to teach. Come. The guy is already smiling. <laughs> Watch this. Hold this. What is this? You can't say you don't know it. What is this? Money. 1,000 naira. Please look up. Look up call this the word of god are we together now this water is 1000 naira huh are you holding 1000 naira this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is 
faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's a song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this I've given him the word of God hold it this is the word of God spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of God watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her made is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him bonds did i give him um, minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god i give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and you say god i want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody how am i sure or how am i not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people i have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he's saying no no he's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be 
so shall my word be God gives you a word hey Jimmy I want to make you a billionaire take that word I am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your ATM is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what I'm telling you so you take that word you've not been pregnant you've been trying and trying the baby has refused to come kill me he sent forth his word if I give you 1,000 together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful God gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the Bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance Albert Einstein suffered and did something to the world that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that Albert Einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of God he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of God to a material vessel you are standing and God says I'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people I look at things in my life today that God told me they will come and I watched them come today and I said Lord so your word really brought this anything the word of God cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalist fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of God if the word of God cannot give you a child I guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form hallelujah is God helping us revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you're not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when Elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately immediately he rejoiced he didn't say I will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run I'm on my way to better days listen faith faith is God's system of rescue you may say I did not come from a good background listen to me you may say my father was this and that I didn't have the opportunity to be educated I didn't have the opportunity to grow up in London I came from a village faith is the victory faith is the victory we are gathered here tonight because of faith God sent a word men believed it 
they walked with it they mounted pressure on his integrity I'm on my way to paradise hallelujah one time we're returning from I don't know which of the I, I can't remember where we went now and a lady sent me a text and said she saw whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash now it may be that that's what the devil had planned to kill me on the road but you see I have an understanding that at the point of obedience God is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now I can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no 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 I will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury me. you will just cry for one week I know you love me but I tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues I go to heaven but I didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth please i want us to be honest with ourselves this night we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am i missing good master what must i do good master what must i do oh god of prosperity what must i do god of influence what must i do there is no excuse there is no excuse there is no excuse oh just and wizards nonsense there is one person getting a result is god challenging us we must take responsibility over our lives over our lives over our lives and he will protect you God gave us a word we believed it there are many things that God has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then I just told him I said Lord I'm a believer you have trained me well you trained me well in the school of the spirit God trained me to believe him God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he will give up he said listen the word of God that, yes the word of God just with the word of God yes I will it created the heavens and the earth it can create my destiny I don't believe it keep watching ha. when a man has vowed to believe God I show you a dangerous man you stand on his way the word will clear you as if he didn't see you never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to see let me tell you do you know why i preach and talk to you i have seen what god has told me you will become i have seen it not just in visions he has told me i prayed to god one time and i said lord i don't want to pastor people who are weak i want spiritual men but men of influence and god told me this is what you do so you are sitting now i know you are wearing a rubber shoe don't worry you will see what will happen to you i've said it prophetically we will all be great and the greatest part is we will all know ourselves i said this thing when we were sitting on mat i believe yes lord I yes lord i believe is where now let me tell you you can choose to there is something called the mystery of mockery a lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying I'm a virtuous woman in the name of Jesus she's reading books and you say are you this desperate for a husband the mystery of mockery 
see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh i don't want you to say i am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of god and you leave the word of god because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and you say look i have to be social right i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what i'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it and then they never really get any result i have not seen one person who is ashamed of god and ashamed of the things of god who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it one day god will tell you carry 80 percent of your clothes share them strategically God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your, your, your giving life, you know how a rubber ring is. You must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a title you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you i guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the Bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain I cannot afford to walk into a future I have not sent seeds ahead of no Are we together? The word of God. I believe this word and I act on it. I act on it. This is the word that has helped us so far. When you stand before a sick body, there is no guarantee. You can pray in tongues and do all you need to do. But at the point of obedience, Jesus said, they shall lay hands on the sick. Come. So this brother is sick. I know he's sick we are all seeing the lump i'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what i've done i have robbed god of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time i did exactly what the word of god said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful? Let me tell you something about God. If you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result, then it has not finished. Keep watching. There is hope for a tree, even though it be cut short. He said, at the scent of water. Have you watched films, actor and the boss? They will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine. You will think he's dead. But from the beginning of the film, a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it. You know all those kind of films. While they are beating him, he's remembering that vision. And sometimes he would die truly. Then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said. Oh, come on. 
if a ghost can appear to defend it why not die believing God it's better than living believing men who cannot help you I believe God seated in this place bless you are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed God let me tell you make no mistakes scatter in this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed God by faith there are people here who were once Muslims right we have some of them here by faith they believed God and his prophecy and they denied the shame some of them went through hell in their families including death threat by faith God committed himself but people sold cars and houses like idiots believing the word of God there is he that scattered and yet increases there's a man years ago he's a pastor he gave this testimony true story he went for a convention and there was a building they wanted to roof it and they were raising funds for the roof and you know he had his own house beautiful house personal house and the holy ghost ministered to him and said son i want you to give this house to that church they will sell it and roof the house he didn't know how to tell his wife that's why i said it's good to hear god as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of god not just intention not just desire the word of god do you know they sowed that seed it was heavy upon them but from that day the lord spoke to that man and said you will never build a house in your lifetime again as at the time he was speaking i think he had at least 17 of those houses all gifts somebody comes and says god said i should give you this bungalow please come and look at this house if you like it now you like the man's story do you like what he did if you claim to be abraham's children you will do the works of abraham he took his only begotten son there are men who God gave them instructions all through this year from 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock spend time with me 12 to 3 is me and you that's hard work there are people God give instructions first one year January 1st to December 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days I rounded up the last day with him I've never fasted 400 days in my life six to six not not six to ten six to six please i'm challenging you koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today next week i'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters i'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving praise partnership the things that help faith to stand Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Let's attempt to round up. We are going to pray tonight. This is the victory. Romans 4 18. Believed. So let's look at a few words. Those are the key words there. Against something. He believed that he might become according to that which was spoken. God spoke something in my life. I see obstacles standing against I believe that I may become that which has been spoken say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus everything God declared about me I make up my mind that I will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith One of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service, this month's miracle service, is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness. This fruit, we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness, this miracle service. If that's the only thing we do, we are going to trash it to nonsense. Next week, we are going to announce it. 
I don't care where the baby will grow whether it's on the leg on the head that baby must grow do you believe God you believe God for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame God but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people God has given instructions here they will never take a step there is an action you must take do you know there are times that God can give you a crazy instruction go and lock go and lock yourself in a room the action may be praise Tehillah praise God you know those Igbo songs those those what they call them and God can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big uh -uh. dance again God just say I should so because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you I want you today to learn to be a child before God sometimes the instruction God can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey God are we together I remember a woman one time she had been trusting God I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness she had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction she said she should buy she should buy children's clothes baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church do you know this woman went and they said God told her this was what she said that the money she would have used for her own child this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in she took in in Mubi where we went um, they might even be following online now the last time we went before last week while we went there one particular person he believed you know the wife they've been trusting God for a child a lecturer there in the university there and nothing had come and he believed the instruction he believed God gave him was that he should drive me that was the instruction throughout the program a doctor PhD dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place I think it was one month later his wife took him when I went I went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you I believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money I fear God please don't don't please don't confuse this I want you to prosper one of the reason why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing is that you you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. you can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying but the money should come out of your pocket no so you never rise your spirit is charged but you are poor So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting you even go by three and say lord i give you one year extra prayer before they start no every result every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction that leads to it every result has the instruction the apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast 
and obey completely. Bishop Oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating Covenant University, in the presence of dignitaries, people coming from different nations, other intellectuals, he said the Lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of Covenant University in the presence of everybody, to lie down flat and hand over Covenant University to him. And he said that was what he did. In the presence of everybody, he went down flat. Now, it's easy for you to go down. If you like, you can fall down or lie down flat. But for a man at that level, he said he laid down flat and he said, Lord, I hand over this university to you. And you can see that it is God that is leading it. You know when God is leading a thing. Please, I'm speaking to us. It's time to lay your burdens down and pick something higher and start running with tangible results. For some of us, throughout this 2016, the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life. Nothing else has moved forward. That's not the will of God. It's the will of God that everything will move forward. hallelujah our parents have disobeyed God to their peril they, they never walk by faith so this car I bind that spirit I suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize God. God is spirit. God is spirit. God gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed. When was the last time? If you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from God, honestly, honestly, something is wrong with your spiritual life. You should go for a retreat. When God begins to give instructions, Femi, wake up. It's two o'clock. But I need to speak to you. Just spend some time. No more sleep. And you put worship song. And you are just walking around. Lord, why are you waking me by two? It looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of Christ. Where God wakes people. When you say God wake me, people look at you. We wake God. You. God doesn't know who to wake. He's, he's waking you. You see, we, we have become not, not koinonia now, not koinonia where it's spiritual people. But I'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of Christ. When people say God spoke to me, just God, God, God doesn't know what to speak to. What, what made us become like this? God can say, Stand up, Femi. He may not tell you why. He's just saying, Pray. Just keep praying. Shakata, that's all the instruction God gave. Walk around and pray. 30 minutes he has not said anything. 40 minutes he has not said anything. 50 minutes he has not said anything. One hour he has not said anything. You remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes. And you continue praying. One hour, 10 minutes you are still praying in tongues. An anointing comes on you. And he says, speak your Bible. And you begin to write. I will make you exceedingly great. God is a master of speaking to people in the night. Ask anybody that knows God. The night time is when his voice is, is, is clear. All the people who don't have faith are sleeping. God is speaking to you. I will make you exceedingly great. He will use a scripture. As I was with Moses. So I will be with you, Jimmy. <sighs> you wake up in the morning with that word. Guys, the Lord has spoken to us. He said he will be with us in Koinonia. Ah! Oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that God has given me I have a very deep covenant with God I have a very I respect the speakings of God there are things God has told me I look forward to my birthdays I look forward to the end of the year 
when we finish koinonia now while i start my retreat i look forward to hearing what god says you see let me tell you one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with god god jesus we are one with him but he's not our mate all this nonsense that is a god if you want to touch me talk to me anytime you need to create a time i'm busy looking for money looking for fame looking for wife and husband and we never hear him one word from god will give you what you are fasting for for 100 years listen brothers and sisters where you are in life somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody it didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together i'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here that's the day our eyes will open what of you is a me too my eyes will open that's why they were friends two blind men if two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings you should make friends with good people don't make friends with people who choke your faith you want to take a step of faith you carry the ten thousand naira they just hold you and say sorry yo. it's not like i'm saying you should not give but you too be wise i just say oh, it's true oh god you see that's not a good friend that's a nice friend but it's not a good friend and when jesus departed tells two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david they interceded for one another have mercy on us we have discussed this thing we are determined as friends to be free next verse and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him do you know it's interesting how jesus acts sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you full of grace and truth the fountain of love having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith they try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle then you sit down in your home and think that god will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we christians are we christians i hope you know that this is this is jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind men would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they would will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen believe ye that i am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this and this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed 
while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and a harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when god is supervising the law himself we're going to pray we must stop here tonight but i want to challenge your faith hear me people of god if it will ever change in your life it's not all up to god sisters hear me we have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or favor somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hate you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith i am where i am today by the grace of god but it is through faith by grace true faith you will prosper by grace through faith you will walk in the anointing by grace through faith it will never be outside of it you will rise by grace through faith rise up on your feet hold your hands everybody let's pray in tongues we will rise in your name hold your hands together just reach out to somebody sing it from your heart you reign on. zakata kata parata kata kalabarato ko subataya nende pres katari ataka fashana malada balaka side baba sada baraha tashi melakata embro katos ke barata kapa beteketele makata hallelujah 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 we're going to pray the bible says and what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them there is a difference between receiving and having receiving is of the spirit having talks of its manifestation i want you to pray listen listen through faith the bible says through faith men subdued kingdoms are we together the key to deliverance is declare thou that ye might be justified you are going to open your mouth and command forces that are stopping you from stepping into the next level of your life to bow the key your point of action is your speaking to the mountain i like you to pray god is changing people's stories
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen, we are rounding up, but we are still going to pray this point. I can tell you this. The instructions of God is his leading to the next dimension of your life. It says the Lord is my shepherd. That is why I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord can lead you. There are, there are ladies who have been cheaply led to their husbands by the Spirit of God. Come and walk in the welfare department. Come and serve in ushering. It's, it's an instruction. For others, it's something voluntary. For you, it may be an instruction. Pray every day one hour for one month. That is the instruction. Listen. You must receive grace to take instruction serious. Not just careless fabricated instructions out of your lust. Instructions that are genuinely either from the written word of God or from the revealed word through his voice to you. We are going to pray one more time. Lord, any instruction I've neglected that has tied me down. Don't think demons. It's not just demons. Disobedience to instructions. It individually lift your voice and pray for grace 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 to instructions to the latter to flesh hallelujah 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 when koinonia started the lord spoke to me and said son for this season i want to increase you and increase the ministry and this will happen through the teachings he says do not sell any koinonia material that's what the lord told me he said don't sell anything let all the messages be free at that time ejimi you will testify they had not even started all these uploading messages it was a stupid instruction it was a crazy one ministries depend on the media ministry to raise a lot of funds for ministry activities you will not preach messages as powerful as this and upload them for free but if god said it we will obey and out of that foolish instruction god has used it today to build a name for himself these teachings have gone to cities and countries and places 70 percent of the people who have been blessed through my life and this ministry do not know me they meet me as airports at restaurants everywhere and they are happy I was in Abuja a few days ago and someone just met me there and looked at me and said this is Apostle Joshua Selman I said where do you know me I mean I just went to get something so embarrassing he said I've never seen you I've only seen you in my dream and I've seen your faces on posters I'm so happy you know this and that he was greeting trying to sow a seed and I said my God the foolishness of instructions hey Jimmy sow the best tie you have as a seed buy Shade's child a little trouser oh god why do i need to buy i'm too big for that it's an instruction we must get to a point in our lives where we don't let pride cheat us lock your door every day for one hour dance before god before you sleep oh lord i'm not a dancer it doesn't matter it's an instruction praise warfare you may not be a musician but you need to start engaging this thing god can tell you as a husband get up by three every day for four days lay hands on your wife and children he looks stupid just obey him there is no man that obeys god sometimes we give corporate instructions here fast some of us don't fast you don't care pray have you seen that little disobedience one more time we're going to pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience lift your voice and pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience thorough, prompt obedience thorough prompt obedience hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please write this down this is your assignment for this week everybody has an assignment for this week write it down your assignment for this week is to write down five areas where you desire breakthrough and triumph 
and find out your part of the deal what god has said concerning that issue and what you must do for a breakthrough write it down i hope you understand it the assignment is that number one you write five areas in your life maybe prosperity healing the anointing whatever just five areas in your life where you know that you are you are truly trusting god for breakthrough you want to see results you want to see notable advancement in other words nothing has been working there or nothing serious has been working there when you've written that you are going to go on a wild search relevant materials go on youtube search koinonia messages they are free get strategic messages go online get your bible if it is finances you can dedicate tomorrow tomorrow is saturday you can dedicate tomorrow and sunday to study finances monday to study maybe on character whatever it is just make sure between now and friday i know some of you will not do it and that's the disobedience we are talking about that lands us in hot water be childlike and do it this is for your good instructions in righteousness come to build us up don't say i am too big be childlike and even me as i'm telling you this this is not an instruction from joshua selman to us it's an instruction from god to all of us myself inclusive are we together find out what the bible has to say about those areas of concern and you must find out your role that's where you know revelation is perfected when you find what you have to do and then pray it pray it with all your heart until you get a rema from god on what to do some of you will return on friday with strange testimonies you'll be surprised faith works bishop oyedeko has shouted it for years faith works are we together are we together please there is grace for you to do this it is for your own good there is grace for you to do this many of you will be surprised to see the things you will discover this week as you study the word a scripture you had been looking at every day all of a sudden light will flash from it and your spirit will be on fire and before you know it you will just rise above something that was tying down your destiny praise the lord hallelujah lift up your hands everyone in the name that is above all names the grace to walk by faith the grace to believe the word of god the grace to take heed to the instructions of god may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon your life in the name of jesus beginning from today i release grace on you that in spite of the mountains that stand before you against all hope receive grace to believe in hope that you no longer will be scared by the magnitude of the mountains that stand before you but that you will receive grace to go back stare them at the face and conquer them in the name of jesus i challenge every mountain standing before anyone here under the sound of my voice in the name that is above all names by the corporate faith that is in this house we command mountains to fall right now in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands and give jesus praise dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye